Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be fitting the tow bar to the Sprinter. So yes, hello everyone and thank you for joining me. Obviously because I need to do something outside, it's decided to rain. However, we're still going to crack on anyway. So what I need to do today is fit the tow bar to the Sprinter. Now, it's not as easy as say the Mark 6 Transit was. With the Mark 6 Transit, you just literally use the color coordinated wires and then you tap off of the loom that's inside the back of the rear light to the tow bar electrics. However, with the Sprinter, it uses a CAN bus system, which basically ch it checks with the ECU and then it will talk backwards and forwards. It's basically like a signal wire rather than a direct live feed. So you have to use a bypass relay which is basically just a box you put in between the car's electrics and the tow bar electrics. So it's just an extra little step. It's actually not too bad. The only difference with this is you do need to run a permanent live switch fed 15 amp fuse fed live go into the battery. So that's literally the only added little difference. So we're just going to get cracking on installing this first. I need to get the wiring diagram up so I know which color goes where. So down here we have our tow bar kit. Obviously the kit includes the main tow bar arm, the tow bar arms, which then bolt to the actual tow bar itself, the actual tow bar. However, what it also does include is a universal wiring kit, which comes with the 12 pin plug. And it comes with this Scotch locks and an auditable, I suppose that's like a little relay thing. Um, you need this by law now. Uh, it literally beeps at you when you've got your indicators on. I think that's just so you can hear it inside the cab so you know that your indicators and stuff are working. However, we don't need any of that because of the bypass relay. The bypass relay actually already has that inside. So there's the little speaker for the, for the bleepies. And then obviously we're gonna be wiring this up to the actual Mercedes wiring loom and then wire that to the bypass relay. What I've done is I've just noted down all the colours for both the Sprinter and the Bypass Relay and I will put a, together a picture and then I'll post that now. So the main reason why I really wanted to get this turbo fitted now is because whilst the interior is completely bare, I can get at all the wires inside the van so here are all my right hand side wires and then the left hand one actually shoots up and goes across here so i can get everything wired up here and then that way i can just box it all in when i actually do the interior of the van so let's get cracking So that's the module now wired up. The only one I haven't wired up is this blue one, which is the fogs. I've looked at so many wiring diagrams and I cannot find where that fog light goes. So for now, I'm just gonna leave that out and then hopefully speak to somebody or try and carry on looking at more wiring diagrams and eventually get that hooked up. But for now, that is the main wires all done. The only thing I now need to do for that module is run a permanent live supply from this here all the way to the battery box and make sure it's a 15 amp fused circuit. So I need, now need to run a bit of wire from there all the way to the battery box. So before I put all this back together, I just thought I'd show you what I've done. Obviously here is the inline 15 amp fuse. I've then ran this black cable all the way to the end where the module is. And then I've used a heat shrink 
and solder joint for that. And then it goes all the way through there, up there, hidden behind there. And then I ran it all along here. Do, 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 and into the module. So now all I've got left to do on the wiring side is fit the 12 pin socket to these here, which is really straightforward. So what I'm actually gonna do for now, scrap that and actually fit the tow bar. Okay, so today's a new day. By the time I had got the wiring in, it had got a little bit too dark for me to actually crack on. But I've now laid everything out. I've got all my nuts and bolts. I've got all my tow bar attachment bits and pieces. What I first need to do is get rid of this safety bar thing and then I can start cracking with putting the tow bar on. One absolute nightmare that was to get off. These bolts were so rusty that uh, even with a breaker bar, that was tough at times. But putting the new ones on should be a lot easier because I have just these two plates that sit either side. Obviously four bolts go through there and the chassis. And then I can then do that on the other side as well and then just bolt the big middle piece to these plates. So that should make my life a lot easier. So let's get these on. <laughs> Right, so with the tow bar now secured, it's time to wire up the 12 pin socket. However, what I've done is I've routed it through the bumper up there, and then I've just moved this out of the way, fed the cable all the way up here, and then it would go through the light socket. But the biggest problem I now have is this is the total length of the wire. And ideally, my module or bypass relay needs to sit about there. So I'm too short. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to order a new 12 pin socket that's got a meter and a half cable rather than, I'm guessing this is just the standard meter. So annoyingly, this is as far as I can go. So there we go, the tow bar is all connected. The only downside is obviously I can't wire up the 12 pin socket. I just need to order another one. I've just had a quick look on eBay. They're 10 pound for a 1.5 meter pre-wired socket, which should be long enough to reach my bypass relay. Once that's here, I just need to do the same thing and run it through there, strip the wires back and connect the seven wires to that bypass relay. Really super easy and I'll quickly do that before I do anything else next weekend. I have got an engine sat there for the TT, so that will be the next major project, which hopefully we can get cracking on next week. So until then, thank you very much for watching. See you next time.